So face off against Urban Meyer, college coach. Any uh, favorite memories from playing for him, and what was just that experience like? Um, my favorite memory from playing with Urban is back in like 2016 when we beat uh, Michigan in the like last game, the last five for the playoffs, and then like the next like month we got our butt whooped by Clemson. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you surprised when you hear the stories coming out of Jacksonville that maybe Urban's not necessarily clicking with all of the veterans? Am I surprised by it? No. <laughs> Why? Why? Uh, I just know how he is. I'm not about to go into great detail about it, but like, you know, it doesn't surprise me. In the first half on Sunday, the Giants had eight yards on seven rushes. What was the key for you guys up front and, and bottling those guys up? Um, just making sure that the game for for Barkley wasn't like a homecoming game for him. Like I'm I'm back from my ACL now. It's time to go ball. We wanted to make sure I kept everything in check. Um, we know how dynamic he can be. We watched a lot of film on him. And uh, me personally, I remember what he did to us in college a little bit. We always like try to get after him and stop him because we know how dynamic he is. So. For me, I took the game personally, and I wanted to get after him. Based on the memory you just said, you must think Trevor Lawrence is a pretty good quarterback? Uh, no, that memory was like Deshaun Watson. That was, he wasn't even there. Yeah, that was way back. What do you think about Urban's capabilities as a pro coach? Is, is that going to be difficult, jumping from college to pro game? Um, yeah, go from college to pro is always difficult, no matter what the level is, whether it's coaching or playing, especially because a lot of his philosophies were like a lot of the lot college-based. And you can't do that with 30 plus men or even 25 plus men who's been around the league and they know what they're doing now and are well established. So you, you got to shake things up on how you coach. You, know, you talk a lot about wanting to get better in the run. So yeah. You play personally as well as you did against the run. Does it feel like you're making those steps you want to be making? Oh, yeah, I'm making leaps and bounds that I want to make. Uh, I work extremely hard on being explosive and having that, a lot of leg power. And uh, just understanding leverage is really the, the whole point of being powerful in the run. Was it to get Vaughn back, and how much does that maybe help you to have someone like that on the edge? Um, it's good to have Vaughn back. I, I love having Vaughn. It's, it's always amazing to have a Hall of Famer playing right next to you. It's a gift and a curse because the first sack he he got this year, he stole it from me. So <laughs> it's all good though. It's always personal with the defense, but when you see your offense starting to click the way it is, does it give you guys a little extra wind in your sail, especially when you're finally playing with the lead? Oh yeah, for sure. Like um, just, that momentum, just you know, it builds out throughout the whole team. I think you know, offense is going to lead the game. I mean, defense wins the game, but offense gets it going. They create the momentum. They set the tone, honestly. But um, when they're when they're out there playing like that, it helps make their job way easier. How much easier is it running Vic's scheme now in year three for you compared to year two and even? I'm like super comfortable. Like I feel like I just have the leeway and the understanding to, to to do the things I feel necessary because I know what's going on around me instead of just being like I don't know his job, so I got to make sure I'm just doing this. Like it makes me more dynamic too. You have said previously that keeping your weight up is something you've had to work on since you've been in a, the NFL. How's that going? And what are, what are you doing to? Um. But I've been playing with that a little bit. Keeping my weight up isn't always that the, the best thing. Sometimes you got to play where you're comfortable, and I've been comfortable around 280. So uh, I've, I've learned how to play fast and strong at that weight, and I'm just going to continue to grow. What was it like having a healthy Mike Purcell and Shelby back? Uh, definitely dope. Those are my dogs. Um, I know what they can bring to the table. Not to say, like, you know, having Shamar Deshaun in there and wouldn't, or Sosa wouldn't help me out either, but I just, like, I know they, I've been playing with them the longest. D-line going against two rookie quarterbacks here this next couple of weeks. Going we'll to be favored probably next week, too. Are there higher expectations to you know, make chaos? Or uh, no, the, the, the expectations are still there. We understand that he's younger, so you know he's going to want to try to be uh, in the pocket poised quarterback because that's what every quarterback that's new want, like, wants to be. They want to be like the Tom Brady. They don't want to be running around and they get that, like, I'm a running quarterback title. So we understand he's going to be in there, and we know we have opportunity to get him. Okay. Thanks, cool.